What is going on guys? My name is Zora. Today I am joined by Michael SK. What is going on guys? My name is Zora. I am here once again with Michael SK and today we're back with some Sakura Fantasy. Hell yeah, I, boy. What happened in the last episode? The sky fell or... Um, sky fell. I think there was some, uh, I think there was like a meteor or something. I don't I think, really remember. I think it was a falling star, but... That's a meteor. Hey, man. I don't think... I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Everyone is on edge after the star fell from the heavens. Never before has something fallen from the sky, so everyone has a theory as to what it means. The most popular one is that the end times are coming. But aren't they... <laughs> aren't they already here? I don't know any other cities that are still standing. The capital is the only place which has managed to thrive in the blight... Blighted wilderness... Uh, the last time we heard any news from another city was 10 years ago. I can't help but think they're, go they're gone too. Unless they became isolationists like us. There might be a chance that it's still thriving. My far scene can't reach far enough for me to confirm it. So aren't we already on the edge of destruction? We're, we're probably building our own tomb in a feeble attempt to keep the darkness out. Well, after wall after wall, defense after defense. But for all that, there is something that everyone knows all too well. The capital stands alone against the darkness around it. No matter how mighty it is, it still stands alone. An empire strength is entirely not just its ca not just its capital, and we have lost nearly everything. I think this is uh, your choice. Uh, I can understand why people are afraid, or I prefer optimism. Let's go for the optimism, man. That's a really bleak outlook, though. I like to be more optimistic than that. If we doubt, then we'll be consumed by the darkness. I, of all people, should know that we cannot doubt. But it's hard to ignore all of the dooms rays who walk through the streets of the capital. Everyone is afraid. They've been afraid for a very long time, but the falling star brought those fears to the surface. There's been some talk that the council plans to promote novices much earlier than they should too. The soldiers and guards around the capital are being stretched thin. More are needed if they are to maintain order. The noblewoman's words have haunted me since we last spoke, too. Did she call that star down from the sky? What do the stars have to do with her? I should talk with Gwen about this. She knows her history a lot better than I do. I thought life as a soldier would be a lot simpler than this, but it's only become more complicated. I'd love it all. I'd love it all if all my problems could be solved just by being a few monsters. It seems that life isn't so simple, though. I need to go see Gwen today. There should be a brief moment before I have to leave for guard duty. In fact, I better hurry up and visit her. To my surprise, Gwen wasn't anywhere near her office today. After wandering, I found her standing out in the training grounds looked da looking dazed. Why is she out in the training grounds of all places? Shouldn't she be in her office right now? Gwen, can I speak with you? When she looks at me, the look on her face is everything. What is it you want, Raylene? Uh, check if Gwen's okay. Gwen's obviously <laughs> sleep deprived. I should check if she's okay. <clears throat> you didn't get any sleep, did you? It's not like I need to ask that. The dark rings under her eyes say more than enough. None at all. Since that star has fallen, there has been a lot of unrest in the city. The amount of letters being sent back and forth between barracks, it's a nightmare. I'm taking a rest from it right now. My fingers would snap in half if I had to write another signature. So what do you need? I could use a distraction. Just thinking about more paperwork is going to make me pass out. Do you remember any tales about Ardina which involves the stars? Stars? Why stars? Does this have anything to do with that falling star last week? I'd be lying if it's if I said it didn't. Gwen gives me a weak smile. You're always so curious. I can't recall any at the moment, but there may have been some. I'll have to request some leave time to visit the castle's library. After this stack of work, there's no way Kara would be willing to deny me anything. Thank you once again, Gwen. Before I'm about to leave, she calls after me. Can I ask for a favor in return, Raylene? When you're not busy, could you do some far seeing for me? Just whenever you're ready. I can tell that she's just about to collapse. 
I'd better go <laughs> get her to a bed. Okay, I will do it. Just go get some sleep now. Thank you, Raylene. I think I'll do just that. Some small part of me feels slightly envy. I can't take days off like she can. No, now's not the time for her petty jealousy. I have a guard duty at the castle today. I need to go get ready. As I arrive to the council chambers, I'm just in time to see the councilmen sh shifting in their seats. Or shuffling in their seats. They begin as they always do with a list of items to discuss and address. It seems like it's going to be another boring day with these councilmen. The guardsman from the week before is also here too. Welcome back. I hope you're ready for more drowning. I know that I'm not. I can't say that I am either. Just bear with me then. Think of it as a training exercise. That doesn't make it sound much better. What's the councilmen are debating about today? Seems to be the best way to cart supplies though through the city. We're you're well aware that our roads are becoming very hard to navigate. The population density of our capital has become nearly unmanageable. How exactly do we provide a way in order to reduce the traffic on our roads? Why don't we simply build more roads then? But that's what we're already doing. These roads are becoming choked faster than we can build new ones. Then obviously the problem is that we're not investing enough resources into this. Might I also remind you that the streets are almost becoming labyrinth-like? Our best architects are already overloaded with work, simply figuring out how to add more roads inside the city. What we need is to... After a while, I just let my mind drift out of my body. Listening to them is extremely draining. I wonder if anyone has died of boredom while on guard duty for this chamber. Maybe I should do a bit of farseeing while I wait for these idiots to finish talking. I'm thinking about what's happening at... This is yours. Hmm, the barracks or the bathhouses? I think we need some excitement, Aura. Let's go far see into those bathhouses. <laughs> we need some excitement here, man. There's so much I've heard about the bathhouses. My curiosity is going to make my head implode unless I find out more. It's all, it'll, it'll also put me as far away as I can possibly be from the council chamber, so I'll gladly suffer through it. As my vision changes, I see... Gwen? <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. Hell uh, yeah. Uh, she's lying on some kind of stone slab, her chest pressed up against it. There's not a single shred of clothing covering her at all. All of her pale skin is shown. I can see small streams of water coming from her flowing golden hair. Enchanting lights hang from the ceiling, radiating warmth which I can visibly see shimmering in the air. I had no idea what it was. <laughs> I had no idea that it was such an elaborate setup inside those baths. Gwen shifts slightly, like she's uncomfortable. The movement is enough to make her body quake a little bit. She turns her head to the right. This is a bit hot for my liking, actually. Could you please turn it down? A few seconds later, the lights of the crystals dim a bit. She smiles in approval. Perfect. Thank you. Gwen doesn't seem out of place with any of these... Sophisticated. Sophisticated, okay. I've never seen that word. I'm such an idiot. Ah, We're all minutes. idiots, man. No worries. Ah, she's perfectly content to bask in the warm glow of those absurdly expensive-looking crystals. She happily turns over, exposing her other side to the crystals. There isn't a single part of her that she doesn't allow the crystals' warm light to touch. Steam rises from her body, obscuring my view of her slightly. She stretches herself out, laying her body bare before the crystals. An eternity seems to pass as she looks up at the ceiling. A small sigh of pure contentment passes through her lips. This is my haven. The whole world outside doesn't matter right now. Just me, myself, and I. She turns back over, allowing her eyes to close as she leans forward onto her chest. I don't think she could be happier at the moment if she wanted to be. Being here really does fill her with joy. It's like I'm adrift on an ocean of warmth. She drifts, <laughs> she shifts herself slightly, trying to move her lower body beneath the cluster of crystals. Once she's happy, she turns around again to face the ceiling. Now that's more like it. There is no better way to dry yourself off. From the, <laughs> from the side of her stone slab, she grabs what looks like a ball of clay. 
They say this is a this is great for your skin. I suppose I will only find out if I try it. What do I feel like the image is about to change? Uh, she takes the clay and begins to rub it on herself. Nope. It's almost like silk. So soft. She leaves no part uncovered as she works her way down her body. Clay on her chest, her thighs, everything. <laughs> I hope my skin becomes as soft as this clay. Not even the hottest forges in the capital could match the heat coming from my burning face. This, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Gwen's not stopping either. She's going to keep going until she's covered herself thoroughly in it. This is too much for me. I'm going to clear this vision from my head. I'm, I'm just going to have to hope that no one notices how furiously I'm blushing. As I come back to the council chamber, the repetitive drone of their voices begin to drill itself into my head. Are you suggesting that the Fallen Star has some significant meaning? It is but a mere anomaly, nothing which should influence our business today. You cannot deny the unrest it has caused, though. The city is in a worse state of panic than it's ever been in a long time. What course of action do you suggest we take in order to stifle this panic? More guards patrolling the streets. We have to ensure law and order. Doomsayers are to be arrested on site too. We can't have them fear mongering. But we barely have enough soldiers as it is. We may have to dip further into our reservoirs of novices. As much as I doubt they'd help, I'm afraid we have no choice. All in favor in promoting more novices. All councilmen voiced their agreement with the plan. Then we have settled that matter. As a summary, promote more novices, arrest doomsayers, and put more soldiers on the streets. Even though his face is covered by his helmet, I can tell what my fellow guardsman is thinking. Leaning over, he whispers to me again. Welcome to week two. It only gets worse from here. <laughs> You'll go mad if you listen to them for too long. I can see you're learning to you're learning to not listen to it though. In fact, you nearly fell asleep there. I nearly collapsed while far seeing. I better be more careful with it in the future. I know it's hard, but just stay awake for a bit longer. They usually conclude their business within an hour. I uh, I can put up with this. We just need to put up with it. You make a fair point. It's useless to complain. Moving on to another important matter now. Have we had any news from the scouting parties we sent into the Myers? None! They're definitely dead by now! I see. Then there is nothing to be dis discussed here. How could he be so cold? Those soldiers are dead due to their poor decision making. Perhaps life is cheap when you make it to the top. This brings me back to my previous point last week. Are you still all opposed to the idea that these beasts are intelligent? We have already debated this. The dead scouting parties do not mean that the beasts are intelligent. We need proof and evidence before we can act. The next time we are willing to take a risk, we should devise a means of testing them. So send more people to their deaths? The dead can't tell us anything, Councilman. Perhaps we can find someone with a gift, which enables them to speak to the dead. Would such a gift even exist? Even so, how would we find someone with a gift so specific? It would be foolish to waste our time and resources looking for such a gift. I suggest we drop this discussion for, for now. It is not going to yield anything useful. Agreed. We must focus our time on more important subjects. The walls have been dealing with increased attacks, or increased attacks since the star fell. The impact must have agitated the wildlife. It's to be expected. It agitated the city too. Nothing to worry too much about. The fr the frequency of attacks should die down after a few weeks. I must voice my agreement. There is no action to be taken in regard to this. That is, no actions which we shouldn't be taking anyway. We are already driving for more recruitment and more bodies to defend the walls. As they continue to debate amongst themselves, I hear footsteps behind me. Soft footsteps. They couldn't belong to another armored guardsman. 
Wait, it's that noble woman from before. Wait, is she, wh what is she doing here? Greetings, Empress. We are surprised that you have joined us again. Have you matters you wish to speak about? Empress? <laughs> I knew it! I called it! It's so obvious, man. Uh, I know, but I'm still gonna compliment myself and just feel like I'm the only one who thought so. Uh, the Empress herself? That's who she is! I spoke to the Empress directly and I didn't even know? I am here to put forward a request, Councilman. Wait, was I the was yes. was I this person? You were like you talked very slowly. <laughs> all right, all right, gotcha. Uh, something about her has changed. When I look at her face, I don't see the helpless look of loss. A star fell from the heavens. What of it? There was light. There was noise. Then there was nothing. I am sorry, my Empress, but we do not see why that star matters at all. That emotionless mask Ardrina wears is breaking. She's really agitated. I can't help but fidget as I watch her. The star? It's about the star, isn't it? What does the star mean to you, Ardina? Why won't you talk about it? That star does matter, Councilman. It could mean everything for us as a people. Could you explain or why or provide any proof of that claim? Another question. What do you even want to do about that star? Oh, wait, that's me. I was like, wait, Aura, almost, why aren't you talking? I almost talked for her, too. <laughs> God damn it. I request for a group of warriors to seek out where the star landed. Deathly silence permits through the chamber. All of the councilmen simply look at her. What a, what you are requesting is absolutely foolish. I agree! That star landed somewhere out in the mires, perhaps beyond it. And you're asking us to send a group of our best in there to die? You haven't explained what is so important about this. Not a single voice in the chamber offers any support for Adina's request. I can tell she's trying to restrain her emotion, but it's starting to show. I just overheard that you had sent scouting parties into the Myers. How exactly is my request unreasonable? We debated for weeks before we decided to send them. And now they're all dead. Anyone else we send would meet the same fate. Ardina, has your old age finally gotten to you? Old? We she's like 16. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, 13, man. <laughs> we understand if that's why you would no longer participate in debate. Your mind... Before he can finish, I can feel the council chamber rumbling. Where did that come from? I rub my eyes and look again. It's coming from Ardina. Oh, shit, you pissed her off! Oh! I know, dude, she's gonna fucking wreck shit. That empty, vacant look is completely gone from her face. It's replaced with something... Seem <laughs> seething anger ghostly eternal light pours from her filling the entire chamber it burns around her in an aura yay <laughs> cracking <of> other <laughs> otherworldly power her power is actually causing the very building to shake around her how is this impossible before i thought she didn't express emotion at all cowering in their seats the councilmen try to shield their eyes from the light no one dares to say a word to the enraged empress simply staring at her in awe the me the main speaker of the council backs off from her, step by step. Empress, what has possessed you? Empress, please stop! You're going to tear these chambers apart! Among the chaos, I can clearly hear Ardina. Her voice is powerful, yet quivering with emotion. It drowns out all other voices. It's as if the entire world has gotten silent just to hear what she has to say. <clears throat> First, you openly deny your Empress. Then, you have the gall to accuse me of being unfit to take interest in the affairs of my own empire. Every single one of my requests through the last decade have been openly de denied by all of you. They've openly denied her for this long? She really was just a figurehead then. But this... You'd be denying anything. I am your empress. 
and it is time that I remind you of your place. I am older than all of you combined. I have seen a thousand battles, millions of deaths, and known more lost than you could ever hope to imagine. So she's one of those 2,000 year old bitches. <laughs> mm, those are the good ones, Aura, trust me. <laughs> so do not even dare to suggest that I am unfit to be your leader, that I am not of sound mind. Not one of you, for all of your age and experience, could ever understand what that star means. The speaker tries his best to calm her down. Empress, please calm down. Just tell us what the star means so we can understand. We did not mean any harm by that statement either. We were just concerned for me. Or are you simply concerned with not having your way this time? I tire of your sweet lies. I would rather those with those with more honest tongues speak for a change. So I will make this clear. This is not a request like all of those other times. This is a command from your empress. Find me a group of warriors willing to brave the Myers. The best group you can spare. Otherwise, I am going to be looking for a new group of councilmen. You have all grown complacent with your positions. Remember that I am your empress for eternity. After that, her light fades and she returns to her normal appearance. She nearly burned my eyes out with that. <laughs> Finishing with her speech, Ardina turns her back to the council. She takes a moment to look at me before she's gone again. Did I just see the Empress of the Legends? The one who glowed with light and banished the darkness with her footsteps? When I looked back at the council, all of them looked terrified. <laughs> Michael? Wait, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, are you gonna read this? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I was, I was worried about my internet. Alright. Well, do we have any further items we need to discuss? How exactly do you think we should respond to the Empress's insistence? I think it would be best to hear her out this one time. Although I am normally the voice of cynicism in this room, that is understandable. We all agree on the Empress's proposal. Is that right? All of them voice of their agreement. Do we have any other outstanding business that we must deal with right now? No one says a thing. I think it would be best to adjourn this meeting for now then. Is everyone in favor? Once again, the decision is agreed upon with no op- a potion. You didn't see or hear any of this. Understood, guardsman? Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, for sure. I can only vaguely nod my head. It's enough to make him go away. Dumbfounded, I just stand there for a moment, taking in what I had just witnessed. My fellow guardsman must be in awe, too, because he's not moving either. <laughs> Damn, I've never seen that happen before. I guess this was your lucky day. The council chambers will never be this exciting again. Does this really count as lucky? She could have caused this chamber to collapse on us. Perhaps it would have been better to have that happen though, rather than listen to those politicians keep talking. I can't help but shake my head <laughs> at him. Does he really hate being here that much? I've been here for a long time and that's the first time I've seen anything like this. Things are going to change very soon. And it's about time that happened. What's even better is that we're off duty now. I don't know about you, but I'm out of here. Sure enough, he's gone in an instant. I'm too busy taking in what I saw to really care though. Even though the council has adjourned their meeting for today, I still have guard duty. I better get to patrolling the hallways then. Now do you want to pause here or do you want to... Yeah, let's, uh, let's wrap it up here for this episode. Well then, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Check out Michael SK in the description and also at the end of this video just by clicking on the I. And we will see you guys later. Take care. See you guys.